Do you write the same emails over and over and would like to know how to save time by creating and saving an email template in Gmail? Hi, I'm Julie Merrill, the Paddleboarding CPA, and today I'm gonna walk you through a tutorial on how to implement this template and save time. Together we can work smarter and live harder. This video is about walking you through the steps to make a template or a canned response email in Gmail on a common email script that you use frequently so that you don't have to retype the same email over and over. My example of this is I have a standard email that I send out to podcast guests after I record the podcast with information on how they can review the file, their publish date, and promotional links and information. And so I have this all scripted that I'm going to save as a canned response. Okay. Before you can get started, you have to go into your settings, click on the gear settings, and then you're going to want to look across the top tabs to labs. All right when you're in the lab section you're going to look down until you get to canned responses now this might be farther down in the screen than it is for me because i've already enabled it yours will likely be down here somewhere you want to just click on the enable from disable you can see i have this disabled so that's what that will look on so you will just click on enable and make sure you save it We'll scroll down and hit save changes. Once you do that, give Gmail a minute and then you can start creating your templates. So I've typed out my template. This is my email that I want to be sent out that I'm going to use to edit uh, and basically just insert, like, like here I have placeholders for a first name, a link, a date. So it will allow me to edit the information, but I won't have to retype it every time. Okay, so instead of hitting send, I'm going to go over down to the bottom right corner where it says more options and click on it. Let me go over here to canned responses, canned responses, new canned response. Okay, and this is the name of it. And that was just a subject name. All right, did it save it? Okay save so look at there it is is your podcast save now i'm going to go over to compose and i'm going to go back down to the drop down again and go into canned responses and i'm going to insert your podcast oh that's really cool now the only thing i want to mention is that look at i i put my signature in the canned response i'm going to go back and take it out because it's going to append that again whenever i do a new one so let's see if we can do that let's go into compose okay so let's open it back up let's do your canned response now we're going to go scroll down and i'm going to take out all of this okay so that my signature isn't part of the template I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to go canned responses and I'm going to save it. And it's going to tell me to override it and I'm going to say yes. Okay. So now if we go back to compose, it already added my signature. I'm going to go into the right bottom corner, click on canned responses and I'm going to insert my template. Now it added on my signature. It's not duplicated. And now I just have to go through and change out the pieces of information that are specific to this email. And then I can hit send and it won't change my template at all. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did subscribe to my channel and like this video so that you can be notified when other time saving videos get released on my YouTube channel. I'm constantly also posting on Instagram and Facebook. You can find me both places at paddleboarding CPA. 
Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know if this video was helpful or if you have any follow-up questions that you'd like us to help you out with. I'm Julie Merrill, the paddleboarding CPA. Ciao for now.